All right, guys, here we are on the map Antigua Shipyard and down in the bottom right in the red, representing the team type, it is DBS. And in the upper left, in the orange from the team Acer, it is Bly. And Bly is one of those players that I remember uh, casting quite a bit of. I did a couple EU events uh, back in the day, like mm -hmm. late 2010, early 2011, and Bly yep. would pop up quite a bit back then. Yep, I remember uh, yep. one of the first EU events I ever did. I actually had to wake up way early in the morning to help oh, cast for it. Uh, was I kind of those a, days. Was kind of fun, but it was actually one of my first paid gigs. It was for oh, nice. Yeah, it was for uh, I believe it was the Alienware Challenge or something like that uh, mm -hmm. in the EU. And I remember I was in this game once, and Liquid Rat and Kaldor popped into the room. Oh. And I was, like, freaking out because it was 2010. <laughs> it's the first time I was like, oh, Liquid Rat and Kaldor are in my room. Kaldor, uh -huh. I love you so much. I love your casting. And I, I nerded out a little bit. But uh, so I have very fond memories of my first few EU events I casted. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it was back then, uh, and it still is to a certain extent today, a very different scene. The strategies were uh, quite different, especially in the way that Zergs played uh -huh. um, back then. And uh, we do see a barracks put a little bit outside of the main base of DBS. Not too odd. A lot of Terrans like to do this nowadays against Zerg. But um, going back to what I was saying, it's, uh, a lot of Zergs back then like to actually Baneling bust against Protoss. That's the thing yeah. that really kind of stood out in my mind is you never used to see that on NA or Korea or anything all that much outside of like July Zerg or someone like that. Right. But uh, it was quite popular in Europe for a while. So, uh, yeah, the Zergs especially always played... Uh, a little bit different. Damag is a good example of that uh, as well. So, looks like uh, no real difference in what Acer Bly is doing this game, just going for the hatch first. Not too surprising. Right. Versus Terran. So, a fairly standard opening from both of these players right now. And, of course, uh, you know, DBS going to throw his opponent off just a little bit. Bly's going to get in here, not scout a barracks, find that gas, and wonder where yep. that first barracks is at. Uh, of course, we know it's sitting behind the mineral line at the natural. And, right, uh, right. And, you know, but it's a good, good way to throw off your Zerg opponent just a little bit at the beginning of a game. Yeah, you know, I think we're getting to a point in StarCraft 2, though. Yeah, he goes down and scouts it immediately, where Zerg players, you know, the, it's they don't even really think that it's a proxy just because not many people right. actually proxy versus Zerg anymore. Especially so, with that gas there. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. We used to see, like, a big reaction whenever Zerg didn't scout a barracks in the base. You know, they used to, like, instantly start making Zerglings as soon as their pool finished, like, a lot more than they needed to. But nowadays it's like, oh, all right, I'll just have to look a little bit harder and find your barracks. Oh, there it is. It's at your natural. As usual, looks like it's going to be a uh, Hellion opening from DBS. Yeah. So still fairly standard play. Uh, Acer Bly, though, going for his first gas relatively quickly. It looks like he will want to get Zergling speed pretty quick as well. And uh, Link speed plus a couple spine crawlers means that you should be able to shut down that early Hellion aggression fairly easily. Most certainly. And uh, yeah. DBS looks like he's on course here for an expanse. We'll see if he drops that down or if he wants to be super aggressive. Throw down a couple more barracks. Uh, all signs port towards that expand, though. He's even setting up the SEV. There we go. So standard as standard can be from these yeah. two players thus far. And we'll see if uh, Bly pulls completely off of gas whenever he matches that 100 for the uh, Zergling speed. Uh -huh. Or if he's going to decide to keep one on there so we can move into a little bit earlier defensive roaches or something like that. Yeah, most Zergs do pull off a of gas. I mean, if you see a Zerg leaving Zerglings on gas after going for the speed, then you need to start worrying a little bit about a possibility of a Baneling all-in or some sort of, like, roach all-in. Because well... even if a Zerg is going for uh, roaches... They usually don't, you know, leave them on gas. They usually pull them off for just a little bit anyway. But look at this. Bly leaving uh, guys on gas. We'll have to see what he has planned. It could also be a very fast lair, too. That's still something we see pop up every once in a while. Could very well be. And uh, now DBS, Oops. is he going to be able to get in and see this? And no, no he does not. not. So mm. can't see how much uh, gas there is being mined at the moment. Yeah. Back on DBS's side of things, not he has built a tech lab, but hasn't started any upgrades off of that quite yet. Just producing a couple additional Hellions will decide how to allocate his money afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, DBS actually letting his gas and minerals get a little bit high here. I'm curious to see what we're going to see him put down because he's got that barracks with the tech lab on there. Okay, so a second command center started right away. Yes. Still building up a lot of gas. I wonder if we're going to see possibly um, just siege tanks off of this. Mm -hmm. could, Certainly could be. Could very well be. Yep. A, uh, you can Oop. see a starport here in just a bit as well. Uh -huh. So. Uh, all right. Well, it is siege uh, okay. mode being started right now as that factory was swapped onto the tech lab. Yep. And uh, he'll be reactoring out a couple of Marines as well. Back on Bly's side of things, though, it is Layer Tech. Layer Tech with an evolution chamber coming up. So uh, we'll see what tech choice he decides to move into in a bit. But, of course, he's been mining gas this entire time. So we'll have a lot mm -hmm. at his disposal very quickly. Yeah, really, really, really fast Layer. I wonder if we're going to see a Spire with this. That would probably make, you know, the most sense out of that. That's the normal thing. And he is going to go ahead and take... 
Three gases, maybe four. We'll see here. And the Hellion's just not able to get in. I love the building positioning, though, from Bly. Yeah. That evolution chamber in the back, making sure those Hellions can't run on through. Already has the defensive queens in place. Mm -hmm. He's made a few Zerglings as well. So very cool stuff out of Bly so far. We'll see what he decides to move into here in just a second, though, is that Lair Tech is just about to finish up. Yep. Now, I got to say, I do like the decision to go for what is probably going to be really fast mutas by uh, Bly. Um, I'm not sure if he got a view. Oh, yeah, he actually did see the uh, third command center going up. So he knows that there's not going to be quite as much base defense. And, yeah, he's going for Spire right away. If he can just concentrate on making a lot of mutas while at the same, same time staying safe, he can really make it difficult for DBS to take that third base. And I think that's kind of what we're going to see him go for in this match. I, I really like this decision by Bly. And I like Mutas. They're my favorite unit in the game, so I hope it Are works they? out. I've decided, yes. I've been. I've put a lot of thought into it. And uh, just like in StarCraft 1, one of my favorite things to do is micro Mutalisks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah Mutas my favorite unit. I'll just say it. Very cool. Minor stalkers. Causes Believe me to lose a lot of ZVPs. <laughs> I go for Mutas when I shouldn't, but <laughs> that's uh, that's okay. Can't help it. Stalker, though, huh? Stalker. I love Why? Blink, I love Blink Stalker. Oh, micro. Okay. It's, my, it's my favorite thing to do in the game is to Blink Stalkers. So, All right. Yep. That makes sense. I can respect that. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, here comes Bly. He's going to run yep. smack dab into a sieged up tank. Certainly has to watch out uh, for another tank, though. Oh, he's going to try and get a kill here. He may very we'll well do one. so. Yeah, unfortunately, that tank is going to be gone. Well worth the scouting information then from the Zerglings as well and yep. the kill that they got on the tank. Yeah, he tried for uh, one of those uh, early Ling kind of run buys to see if, you know, he could go in there, do some damage, kind of shut down the natural a little bit more. I don't think he expected to see siege tanks with siege mode quite so early. Mm -hmm. Most terror have been waiting for quite a while before they do that lately. They've been going for kind of a marine medevac composition, doing some harass and then going into siege tanks. Uh, so it didn't quite work out, and so those are larvae that could have been drones in this regard, but yeah. shouldn't set them too far behind at all, really. Aliens coming in to scout that third, and they will see it, but the nine mutas are right about to pop out for Bly. Yes, they are. Going to start chugging their way across the map as well. We'll see how quickly he wants to reveal those. Mm. Do we have... Yeah, we do have an engineering base. Plus one weapons is on the way. Yeah, we can see the three bases are up, but I don't believe... There are any missile turrets anywhere yet. Yeah, and that is going to make it a bit difficult for DBS to defend this here. He's going to just make sure that these Hellions are taken care of with the... Uh, actually, no, he's, yeah, he's just going with the Zerglings after the Hellions. Here come the Mutas into the third base location. Nice, picking off a tank right away. Yeah, DBS just not quite as prepared for this as he could be. And look at this, just going after the Marines. Yeah. Certainly has the ability oh, to do so. The Marine count is very, very low. Just 11 yep. Marines on the field right now. Tank. Already the entire defensive tank position has been obliterated. Yep. Not a Muta has been lost quite yet. One getting very, very low. But Lings are now inside of the third, killing a bunch of SEVs. They'll start going after the missile turret here in just a second as well. More units coming in for Bly at the moment. He's just taking the Marines head uh -huh. on. He will lose a couple of Mutas there, but everything's going to get cleaned up. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, when you go for that really fast third command center, if your opponent goes to really fast mutas like this he can just kind of try to overrun you with uh, Ling Muta. This obviously is not very efficient but it works. GG!